Okay, so I'm coming at you today uh, from a river not too far away from my house just to kind of see uh, what's out in the wild today. Went here for a walk earlier with one of my friends, uh, saw a osprey uh, looking for some food. We didn't see it actually um, go for anything, but the river is flush with bass, pike, um, pretty much it. Some of bass, actually quite a significant amount of, of carp. However, most of them would be far too large for the osprey. But we did get to see it uh, while hunting, searching for prey. It was pretty cool. It stuck around for about a half hour. Uh, and then when we were on our social distancing walk, we um, saw a red-tailed hawk. So uh, that was pretty cool. Fairly eventful. Um, I've seen lots of those recently. I'm really happy. Uh, I went from seeing zero in my life to all of a sudden seeing quite a few. I'm quite happy. Uh, hopefully it's a good sign for the population. Okay, so here we have the beaver den um, that I stumbled across walking on one of my regular trails that I take looking for wildlife. It's right along a river, and but this opening to the den is about one to one and a half feet uh, from the trail itself. It's a pretty small trail, uh, only about one person can walk down at a time. Um, you can't see it here uh, because of uh, it's just so dark in there. But later I'm going to show an image where you can see the beaver tail. It was quite startling to walk along the trail because normally nothing's there. But I noticed the movement and I saw this when I looked inside. Uh, that's the tail of the beaver. Now we're going to transition into Cape Breton with a black-backed seagull um, bobbing in the ocean. And now onto some black guillemots. But why am I in Cape Breton all of a sudden? Well, uh, due to the pandemic, I can't really live with my family um, because uh, they've compromised immune systems. So I'm living in Nova Scotia with my partner once again. Um, which isn't bad because lots of cool wildlife here, gorgeous ocean, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but here, I had never seen black guillemots before. Uh, they were about 100 to 150 meters away from me at this point, and I was really excited just to kind of observe uh, their activities. Um, I was probably with them for a good half hour, and I just found them really interesting. Um, they seemed almost playful. Uh, but I guess I'll let you guys watch for a short while. But yeah, I just found them to be really cool seabirds. And, um, at first I thought that they, uh, were a duck of some sort, but, um, Upon looking at the footage and the photographs I took of them, uh, they turned out to be black guillemots. And I just love them. There's probably a group of, uh, about one, maybe one and a half dozen of them. Um, but yeah, I just thought that they were really cool birds, and I was really excited to get the chance to film them. I'm hoping they'll be there again in about two weeks when I can return to Cape Breton, uh, as right now, as of this recording, I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia again. I'm, g there's gonna, I'm gonna be going back and forth between the two quite a bit this summer. But yeah, a uh, third just entered the frame, and they're just kind of swimming, hanging out. Uh, the one in the back seems a lot more determined at the moment, making a lot of headway into that wind, but uh, it was an exceptionally windy day. It was probably about five degrees, with the winds of about 60 to 70 kilometers an hour. I would I'm very happy having a home right now and not having to live outside like these birds are. Fascinating birds. Um, they're super cool. And 
that's about it for this video. Um, I'm gonna leave you with this little cute guy. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, have a great day.